so question 4 a cuboid is of dimension 60 cm multiplied by 54 cm multiplied by 30 cm that is length breadth and height how many small cubes with side 6 cm can be placed in the given cuboid so a larger cuboid is there of length breadth and height that is given small cubes are kept inside it so if to find out the uh, space the cuboid contains we have to find out the volume of the cuboid right and small cubes are placed inside it so one cube side is six centimeter given so if we find out the volume of that particular cube that is space occupied by that particular one cube then and if we divide it with the uh, total volume of this cube then we will be able to know how many cubes can be placed inside the larger cuboid right this is a cuboid this way is the cuboid so if the volume is known of this so small cubes are kept inside if the space occupied by one cube is known so if we divide the total volume of this cuboid with this volume of one cube then we will find out the number of cubes that can be placed inside it so now volume of a cuboid is you know it is length into breadth into height that is equal to 60 centimeter multiplied by 54 centimeter multiplied by 30 and what is the volume of a cube volume of cube is length cube so length is given as 6 so 6 cube so now we have to find out the number of smaller cubes that can be kept inside this larger cuboid so volume of cuboid divided by volume of one cube will be there so volume of cuboid is 60 multiplied by 54 multiplied by 30 divided by 6 cube that is 6 multiplied by 6 multiplied by 6 6 tens are 60, 6 fives are 30, then 6 nines are 54, so that will be 10 multiplied by 9 multiplied by 5. That will give us 450. So this will not have any unit because this is the number of small cubes we have found out. So hence 450 cubes can be placed in the given cuboid question 5 find the height of the cylinder whose volume is 1.54 meter cube and diameter of the base is 140 centimeter so we have to find out the height and of the cylinder volume of the cylinder we know it is pi r square h one more thing you have to see here is base given as 140 centimeter. So we have to convert this before using this particular uh, value into the formula. So volume is given. What are the things that is given is volume is 1.54 meter cube. Radius R is diameter by 2. So diameter is 140 centimeter by 2 that will give us 70 centimeter. And if we convert it into meter, it will give us, it is 0.7. When divided by 100, then we will get in meter. So, 0.7 meter it is, right? Now, volume of cylinder, we have the formula is pi r square h. So, pi is 22 by 7 multiplied by r square. r is 0.7. So, 0.7 the whole square multiply by h h is we have to find out and what is the volume that is 1.54 therefore 1.54 will be equal to 22 by 7 multiply by this we can write it as 7 by 10 multiply by 7 by 10 and height we have to find out therefore h will be equal to 1.54 multiply by 7 multiply by 10 multiply by 10 divide by this height will come here this 7 will go here 10 will go here 22 divide by multiply by 7 multiply by 7 so let's calculate now 7 and 7 will get cancelled 2 11s are 22 2 5s are 10 now 11 we will divide it by 1.54 so now 11 uh, 1.54 will be divided by 11 that is 11 point 1s are 11, 4 will remain, 4, 4, 44, 11, 4s are 44. So, point 0.14 we will get and here 7.02 is point one four. So, point zero two, point zero two multiply by 50 that will give us 1 
meter so it is in meter we have find because this we already we have converted into meter so height we have got is 1 meter hence height of the cylinder is 1 meter question 6 a milk tank is in the form of cylinder whose radius is 1.5 meter and length is 7 meter find the quantity of milk in liters that can be stored in the tank so quantity of milk we have to find out that can be stored in the tank that can be possible only when we find out the volume of the tank that is volume of the cylindrical tank we have to find out and as you can see here all are in given in meter so we will get the volume of the tank in meter cube and as per the introduction of this topic that we have studied we know the conversion that is 1 meter cube is equal to 1000 liters so whatever answer we are getting in meter cube if we multiply it with 1000 we will get the answer in liters so let's start by finding out the volume of the cylindrical tank so what are the thing that is given to us that we have to first mention that is radius is 1.5 meter height is 7 meter so what is the volume of a cylindrical milk tank that is pi r square h that will be equal to 22 by 7 r is 1.5 the whole square multiplied by h is 7 so 22 by 7 1.5 we can write it as 15 by 10 multiply by it is square so 15 by 10 multiply by 7 is the height so 7 and 7 will get cancelled this 2 11s are 2 5s are 10 5 3s are 15 so 11 multiply by 3 multiply by 15 divide by 10 that will this again we can multiply 5 3s are 15 5 2s are 10 so that will give us 3 3s are 9 9 multiply by 11 is 99 divide by 2 and that will give us 49.5 and it is in meter Cube. So volume of the cylindrical tank we have got is 49.5 meter cube and we know that 1 meter cube is equal to 1000 liters. So 1000 liters therefore 49.5 meter cube will be equal to how much liters that is 49.5 multiplied by 1000 that will give us 49,500 liters so 49,500 liter we will get if we multiply it with 1000 so hence 49,500 liters of milk can be stored in the tank so this is the volume of the tank and we have to con we have been asked is in liters so that is why we have to convert it and conversion we know that 1 meter cube is equal to 1000 liters so 49.5 meter cube will be equal to 49.5 multiplied by 1000 that will give us 49500 so hence the uh, 49500 liters of milk can be stored in the tank